Hey everybody, this is Alanda Blaze, WWE Hall of Famer, otherwise known as Medusa. You are watching RCW, not that flippy stuff, but what flippy stuff? I don't know what you're talking about, flippy stuff. Are you calling somebody else flippy stuff that I don't know about, that I'm supposed to be saying here? I don't know. But anyways, check it out, RCW. All right, see ya. One cameraman positioned in the ring. For an up close and personal view. Studio Wrestling is back. RCW. Rubber City Wrestling presents to you. CW Global. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to RCW Global, episode number 20. I am Michael Voorhees, and alongside me, as always, my co-host, Corbin Shadow. Good evening, Corbin. Michael, it's great to be back, and it's great to be watching RCW Global. Here we go. So tonight, we have a full lineup for you, folks. Our main event will feature Animal versus King Bling, Ice Collins. We have our Thursday throwback match, which is Die Hard, the Hunter defending his title against Jeffrey LaRoque. And right now we get started with oh. ruthless Alexander Crowley versus Little yeah. Italy. And I don't know about you, Corbin, but I think Little Italy has bitten off more than he can chew here. Oh, certainly looks like it. Alexander Crowley just giving him everything he's got. And it's fun to watch. It is fun to watch. Here we go. Alexander Crowley looking. He's got this submission hold on here. Really wrenching on the entire body. Oh, now he's under the neck. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, Little Italy has tapped out. Alexander Crowley, your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is King Bling Ice Collins. And I am the Prince of Pater. I am the Pharaoh of Flex, but today I really don't feel like flexing. I feel like speaking my mind about a few weeks ago, because a few weeks ago, Fire and Ice, me and Ray Stewart, got screwed out of a match with the heavy metal heartthrobs. If any of you idiots saw that match last week, you would have saw that there was no tag in the corner. You would have saw that I had that block face DJ squarehead shoulders down to the mat for the one, two, three. But that stupid ref, that stupid idiot ref, Joe. The same ref, might I add you, that when I had my match against Marcus Knight, I had his shoulders down for the three count, and he didn't want to do his job. The same ref, might I add you, that when I faced Jeff Lee LaRoche, and he had my shoulders down, I had my whole arm under the rope, and he didn't want to do his job then either. So you want to know what? Let's take that idiot ref Joe out of the equation. HMH, either one of you, Shaggy or SpongeBob SquarePants, it doesn't matter who it is. Meet me in the ring next week, one-on-one. -on -one. I'll bring Ray Stewart to be in my corner, and whichever one of you idiots wants to be in the ring with me, you bring the other one. And matter of fact, to keep that idiot referee out the equation, you guys can pick the referee, because it doesn't matter who the referee is. Me and Ray Stewart are the future of the tag division. Me and Ray Stewart are the future of RCW. We can take on anyone, anytime, anywhere, especially two guys who put on eyeliner in the morning. And we'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm Mike. And I'm Brent. And we are the hosts of a Swing and a Tribe podcast, and we're part of the Press Play Podcast Network. Yeah, we're really just a couple of fans who love Cleveland Indians baseball. So if you love the Tribe, please give us a listen. You can find us anywhere that podcasts are available. Mike, tell us where they can find us on social media. On Facebook, you can find us at a Swing and a Tribe MLB podcast, and on Twitter, at Swing and a Tribe. Go, Go Tribe! tribe. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes and dudettes, this is the golden child of professional wrestling, DJ Squared. Um, just making a little announcement, guys. Um, with all this craziness, with all the hecticness going on, um, please stay at home. Um, wash your hands, do all that. The safer you can be, the safer everyone else can be. We'll, we'll be back very shortly. We're here for you guys. Once all this is over, I guarantee we'll put on one heck of a show for you guys. But until then, please, just stay home, alright? Face the music. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after that first opening match, we have our second match of the evening. Your role model, Rick Lee, versus the valedictorian. The valedictorian. Valedictorian, a new wrestler here at RCW Global. He graduated top of his class from Oxford University. I have heard big things about the valedictorian. However, he's fighting Rick Lee. Right, he's your role model. He's got more belts under his belt than he probably has classes at Oxford. He may have. He may be more qualified to be the valedictorian than the actual valedictorian. But I guess we're going to find out. Let's see if the, the, the valedictorian can make a name for himself here in RCW Global. Well, if I had to guess, Michael, I think that Rick Lee was going to take the valedictorian back to school. He just might. <laughs> we'll find out here. Referee talking to Mr. Lee, talking, making sure that he does not have any weapons, anything of any kind that would cause an issue for a, a potential disqualification. Lee throwing some and that's shade. just your role model role standing up for what's right, what's good, and what's true. Yeah, yeah, that absolutely. Here we go. The bell has rung, and let's see what the valedictorian can bring to the table. I mean, look at that. The class, the elegance, that stance, but oh dear. Oh, and the ball. <laughs> and Rick Lee very quickly locking the valedictorian there in the, in the leg hold submission and really wrenching and my goodness Corbin we can hear the valedictorian screaming all throughout this building oh, it's got to be something like the first time he saw geometry class it might be I mean, it, this is definitely not algebra it is not economics whatever you want to call it he may be in over his head here Lee continuing the assault now with a side head at the front facing headlock my goodness, really wrenching it in here. My, oh my, oh, he's stretching him up, rolls him over, there's the pin, one, two, oh, and a kick out by the valedictorian. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rick Lee, but we saw where those feet were. Come on, sir. Almost needed him to, to get the victory here. I don't, I don't know. The valedictorian here. Now, your role model has a lot of tricks up his sleeve, but he doesn't need any of them with this guy. No, an oh. unbelievable the stomp to the face. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. And a knee to the face. Oh, the valedictorian is in a world of hurt here. Here's the cover. One, two, and again. Valedictorian showing that he is not ready to quit yet. Oh, another There's one from your role model. And wow, Rick Lieb just picking apart the valedictorian here. The valedictorian like picking his school schedule, schedule just once more. Uh -oh. And Rick Lieb very uh -oh. happy to Corbin, Corbin, you know what's coming. And there it is. Ooh. There it is. The 4-H from your role model, Rick Lieb. And I, I think the valedictorian has officially Good night. Formed. School is over. And there is your winner, your role model, Rick Lieb. And we'll be back with our Thursday throwback match right after this. Are you looking for a job? I mean, seriously, do you want a J-O-B? Then get a hold of ASAP Staffing. ASAP Staffing is located in Barberton, Ohio, 165 2nd Street Northwest. Phone number is 330-203-3106. Hey everybody, this is the Honolulu Guru, Draven Post, and I just want to say, 
please, during this coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, pandemic outbreak, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay indoors. And if you need something to pass the time while you're stuck in the house, go on YouTube to the Rubber City Wrestling Network on YouTube and binge watch Spotlight and Global new episodes coming out Thursdays of Global and Sundays of Spotlight. Please stay healthy, stay safe, stay indoors, and we will see you all very, very soon. Studio Wrestling is back. RCW Rubber City Wrestling is now RCW Global. RCW Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the RCW Network on YouTube. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Thursday throwback match. This one from a grave affair from October of 2019. It is for the Light Heavyweight Championship. Die Hard the Hunter, your champion, facing Ace Jeffrey LaRoque, and we hope you enjoy it.
there you have it, folks. Die Hard the Hunter retaining the RCW Light Heavyweight Championship over Jeffrey LaRoque. And I hope that Jeffrey has learned his lesson that you cannot trust the Andalini brothers as they assaulted Jeffrey after the match. And it goes to show you in this business, do not trust anybody. We'll be back with our main event of the evening right after this. Joe's yeah. sexuality was never in question. Right? Oh, no. Did you really let your participation trophy on TV after our match? Yeah, just kind of watch who you're poking, man. No, I'll poke the bear. I wanted you to think I was showing up. Adorable. I like when little dogs bark, too. I said what I said. Oh. Yeah, you said what you said. You were wrong. Poking the bear. Get your head straight, all right? Get your attitude right. You might know him as the guy that's staring at the lights during wrestling oh. matches. That's all I know. Yeah, I'm joking. Oh, joking. You know how I know? Because it's true. I'll do that. <laughs> this guy hit me in the head with a platter at the last show. You can beat this man at his own game, and he's upset about it. He can't handle loss. Well, now he knows loss. You are definitely my boomer. RCW Spotlight, Sundays at noon Eastern Time on the RCW Network. How you doing? Headline Vinny DiMazzo here. Got coronavirus. COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, you're urging you to stay indoors while it's all going on. Well, I'm telling you what, I'm urging you to stay indoors after it's all done too. Why? I'm enjoying not seeing all you ugly people out there, getting around town, not having to stand in lines in the grocery stores. It's a beautiful thing. You can even go up and down the highway, not have to worry about running into any of you idiots driving. And as far as social distancing goes, I'm doing social distancing out there, this is all over too. So when you come see the headline down there, taking care of your favorite people, remember, stay six feet away from me at all times. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash River City Wrestling, Instagram at River City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the evening, Corbin. It is a one-fall, 20-minute time limit singles match between the Lord of Discipline, Animal, and King Bling, Ice Collins. I think Ice Collins has a little bit of a disadvantage into this match, Corbin. Animal is such a behemoth. Collins is giving up quite a bit of strength and height in this bout. And no doubt about it, Animal is a solid heap of muscle going up against Ice Collins. But I will give Ice Collins a little bit of credit. One, for showing up. He certainly didn't have to, knowing that he was fighting the other. But also because he's got so much to prove. He's got heart. He's got tenacity. He's got all those things you want to see in an underdog. Well, if you've watched any of the RCW Global matches over the past several months, you've seen Animal make quick work of every opponent that has stepped in the way, and I don't think Ice Collins is going to be any different. However, anything's possible here in RCW, and, and Ice Collins almost became Neo Champion against Marcus Knight. He almost could beat Animal tonight. You don't know. You don't know. Anything can happen here at RCW Global, and it looks like Ice wow, Collins look is making Ice something Collins. happen. Woohoo! Ice Collins giving it. It's oh. animal here, but oh dear, animal! Look, at, he's like it, those are like getting hit with clubs, Corbin. Oh, he's simply throwing them around, here smacking it like a oh, ooh. animal there going for that vicious oh. clothesline that he has defeated so many folks with. Ice Collins able to duck under it, but then he is met with that huge boot. I'm going to guess that's a size 13, 14, maybe even a 15 shoe, and hopefully the imprint is not left on Ice Collins' face. Here we go, into the corner. Oh, oh my goodness, what a vicious chop across the chest. Ice Collins, my goodness. We could hear that rain throughout the arena and a couple of, of lefts throw an animal throwing Collins across. Collins charging out and again, again that massive boot to the midsection here. 
and I think it's only a matter of time. Ice Collins may be in over his head here. Animal repeatedly, repeatedly thumping on Ice Collins. Here we go. Throws Ice Collins in. And wham! There what a vicious Good. clothesline. Nice. And ladies and gentlemen, one, two, and three. There is your winner, the Lord of Discipline, Animal. What a match making short work. We appreciate you joining us for RCW Global Episode 20. I am Michael Voorhees, signing off with Corbin Shadow, and we will see you next week.